Do you want to see a plane land right on the beach? Well, this is day 160, part two of New Zealand's biggest gap year. A massive challenge that Laura and I decided to tackle a couple of years ago, where we had to do 365 activities all around New Zealand in 365 days. Join me at the end of the video when I'm gonna go over all the questions you had the first time we published it. In the meantime, enjoy a flight above beautiful Stewart Island, a beach landing and Mason's Hut. Previously on day 160 part one, we carved each other some awesome jade necklaces at Rakiora Jade and played with the hilarious dog. So we are in front of the only hotel in the pub in Stewart Island. We have our huge bags packed and we're now waiting for Hannah, which is going to come and pick us up so we can take the plane for a lovely sunset flight across the island all the way to Mason's Bay where we are going to hunt for kiwi birds. Obviously, by hunting for kiwi birds, he means taking photos of kiwi birds. Anyway, we are picked up from the one and only pub in Oban and taken straight to the airstrip of Stewart Island, where we are dropped off right on the runway. We quickly meet our pilot, we load our bags onto the plane, and then it's time for a quick safety briefing. If you like to take the time to read our in-flight safety card, it shows the position of the exits and have put those jackets on. Believe it or not, this tiny plane can actually fit up to 10 people. With Laura and I on board with all our bags, it really looks like there is only room for us. As soon as we take off, the views start to appear and they are absolutely amazing. We are in awe in what we're seeing right now. There is a stunning native New Zealand bush because almost 80% of the Stewart Island is a national park. It is unoccupied by humans. It's awesome. But the flight is super short, it's only 6 minutes and we are landing even before we realise that we already took off. It's pretty awesome landing on the beach, this is the first time we've ever done this in a plane and then once we've landed Raymond is telling us where we need to go to start our walk for this evening to make our way to the Mason Hut. So the creek that's up here is called Duck Creek and you'll pick up the track in about 15 minutes from there, you'll be at 15, 20, you'll be at the Mason's back. Because it's so unique to us, we're actually taking the time to watch the plane leave and take off right from the beach. It's so awesome. But we are already on our way, making our way toward Mason's Hut, which is a department conservation hut where we're going to be staying tonight. This is part of the extensive multi-day hike network that is on Stewart Island. And we really wanted to take the time to showcase that to you guys. And tomorrow we're going to be doing a massive section of walk, which is from Mason's Hut to Freshwater, where then we're going to be picking up a water a taxi to make our way back toward the little township of Oban. But all day today is nowhere near over just yet. We still have heaps to do. We are making our way toward Mason's Hut where we're going to be spending the night and once we settle in Mason's Hut we're actually going to be taking the time to leave the hut at night trying to find some kiwi bird in the wild because Stuart Island is a paradise for just that. Hi Laura, you almost made it to the hut. You are a minute away. How do you feel? I feel Relieved that it's not too far away for the beach because I want to check out the sunset. So. It's super easy to follow the trails on Stewart Island. There are orange markers everywhere and there is absolutely no chance to get lost. There is the dark side and the light side of the forest right here in this national park. Right here, we've been a beautiful light side with golden colors and lush landscape. But just behind me right here is the entrance to the dark side with a grim dark forest and dead landscape. I feel like I'm going to be murdered by a troll or eaten alive by a wolf if I just venture within this forest. Don't do it, Laura! We've lost her forever to the dark side. Let's go back to the light. It's just safer that way. Once we arrive at the Mason Hut, we are settling in, dropping off our bags and meeting the other backpackers that are staying in the hut tonight. We get a quick bite to eat before heading back out because tonight we're hoping to catch the sunset on the beach but we also want to find a kiwi bird and take some photos. The walk back to Mason's Beach is super short and we find a good place to watch the sunset from the top of the sand dunes. Right now we feel so alone in the wilderness, it's absolutely amazing. There's nothing more perfect than watching the sun go down and then start to see the stars come out. This is really what a gap year in New Zealand is all about. Of course, as we make our way back to Mason's Hut, we are keeping our eyes peeled and our ears open for any signs of kiwi birds. 
Around the Mason Hut is a notorious for sightings of kiwi birds, so we are super excited and hopefully we get a good chance to spot something tonight. It doesn't take really long until we start hearing the first bird calls and in no time at all we start hearing heaps of them. It's quite incredible the amount of birds which are active at night on Stewart Island but the hard part is to actually find a bird which is emitting those calls and we have to make our way through the dark side of Stewart Island. Those really creepy forests now we have to visit them at night to try to find those birds. We're trying to make no noise at all, try to keep our lights really dim but we could not find a single kiwi bird every single time we hear a little bit of ruffle as soon as we get there there is already no one home and the longer the night gets the creepier the forest gets oh shit <laughs> Sadly, it looks like tonight is not going to be our night. We did not find a single kiwi bird, so we're quickly making our way back toward the hut. A stop at the bathroom and we are tucking in for the night. We will have more chance to find kiwi birds tomorrow because we're having an 8-hour hike toward our next destination. So join us then. It was an amazing day, an amazing journey. And tomorrow we're making our way all across Stewart Island to something called Freshwater Hut. We're gonna to try to spot some kiwi birds. We, and then Freshwater Hut, we're taking the water taxi all the way back to Oban, where we're gonna be spending tomorrow night. It is gonna be an epic journey that you won't want to miss. All right, guys, so a lot of comments on this video, so I'm going to waste no time and start with Ryan Wilkes, which says, You guys have an awesome channel. I love to see more New Zealand content. Stuart Island was one of the first trip I took when I moved to Christchurch. I didn't make it to Mason Bay, but I did the Raikura track and it was great. I love it. That's a lovely comment. Thank you so much, Ryan. We also have Murat Oza that says, Great video. I have flown to Stewart Island three months ago from Invercargill Airport and we could see really amazing views that I won't be able to see again as I came from the other side of the world, which is Turkey. Anyway, I also tried to spot some kiwi birds at night, but I couldn't find any. Hopefully, we could have seen a couple of little blue penguins on the rocks around the wharf at night and they are so cute. By the way, your website helped us a lot discover Stuart Island, so thank you so much. You're very welcome, Murat. I, I'm really happy to know that you were using the website as well. So if you guys don't know, uh, we are also the team behind nzpocketguide.com, which is New Zealand's largest travel guide, and it's all free for you to use. So if you're planning a trip to New Zealand right now, or if you're planning to explore New Zealand, you know, you're local and you're based in Invercargill and you want to know things to do around, um, for instance, check out nzpocketguide.com. It's really awesome. And we also have Fabio that says, I really love Stewart Island. It's one of the best places in New Zealand, even in the world. I want to do the flight too in the future. Are there any other flights around Stewart Island? Um, you know, excluding Invercargill and Stewart Island. But sadly, the options are very limited. The flights over there are not necessarily all scenic. They're mostly like just convenience. So, so you will have to do one of the... Um, one of one of those kind of tracks. Um, Fabio also asked, uh, do you have a, uh, ask if we also have a better chance to approach a kiwi bird with a red light, and that is very true. Sadly, we were not well equipped enough. Um, Martin Robertson says, should have gone to Don Doughboy Hut. The resident kiwi pair kept us awake, scrapping on a hut path all night. So here you go. Um, Doughboy Hut is the best place to check out a uh, spotted kiwi bird. Um, so now that's that's all the stuff. So now a quick thing: tomorrow we're gonna be then start hiking from Mason's Bay, you know, all the way to where we need to be picked up. And since you know I've already done all those videos and that happened already a couple of years ago, I know that we will spot a kiwi bird tomorrow. So make sure to check out that video because during our hike tomorrow we will spot a real kiwi bird in the wild. See you then. Bye bye.